Good afternoon. I almost said morning then. Yes, it's not we've morning. Had a very chilled morning. We morning. have. We've been at the pool. Yeah. Which I never do. I know. Like you nice. do sometimes, but uh, I always yeah. do. If I come out of land on, it's sunny. Because well, it's a few cloudy days the next few days. So I was like, let's go out by the pool once. Yeah. So I need a nice vitamin D on the skin. And I did some swimming because I've actually yeah. been missing my exercise. So we did some swimming as well. And this afternoon we're off to Hollywood Studios and for the first time ever eating a Mama Melrose's. You haven't yeah, eaten there either, have you? No. I've never eaten this, I'm excited for that. Yes, it's an Italian restaurant near where Pizza Rizzo is, but kind of at the back, it's very hidden. And I've never tried it. I keep saying I was going to, so I've made a reservation there. We'll probably try and do a couple of attractions. Do you love yeah. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway? I love Mickey and Minnie's, Railway. I'm wearing Mickey's. So do I. We'll go on the ride. So <laughs> fingers crossed, we'll have a look at the wait times yeah. and uh, see what they're like. And I also love Tower of Terror, so need to see the wait times. Maybe when yeah. Fantasmic's on, or, or maybe the fireworks show, I might be able to go in yeah. when it's like, Time we'll see. Us. We'll see yeah. what happens, and then do some merchandise browsing, general wandering as always. So let's go and get a new. But we've missed the buses, of course. <laughs> We have made it to Hollywood Studios and we were just saying there, it is so close to the hotel. Yeah, it's a very quick Uber ride. Um, the only thing with the hotel so far has been the noise. There's been a lot of construction. I have to every morning. Yeah. There's been bin men that come planking around. I think we just got unlucky with the ring lockers. Me and Dean didn't have this problem last time. No. But that has been working us up overnight. Yeah, and there's, there was also like construction or something going on like in the middle of the night. It was crazy. But generally, I would say when that's not happening or if you ask for an internal room, because we're kind of in the outside bit you'd probably be fine the skyliner i was just about to say is stopped but it's resuming it does stop sometimes so don't ever panic if you're on it and it stops that's very normal they do have a little emergency kit up there in case you do get stuck though under the seat yeah we took her on it and she hates heights and she was just like this the whole way like oh i've been on it with someone who was scared i love it yeah yeah, no, I've been on it with a man who was really, really scared. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's like gonna have a panic attack. If you are staying at Pop Century, you have to get on that. I don't think they're on the buses, do they? To... Not anymore, no. They used to have the option of bus or Skyliner, but then they changed it, so you have to get the Skyliner, I think. Unless that's changed since. And it's one of those days where I have forgotten to bring my magic band. <laughs> And Hollywood Studios is looking amazing as ever. I love the music and just the vibe as you walk in here. And a bit later today, I'll come back and show you inside of these stores. I always love the Five and Dime, that's one of my favorites. And the carrot cake is back. I still call it a carrot cake cookie. It is nothing like a cookie at all. It's much more like a cake. There it is in the cabinet. And at Christmas, this gets replaced with like a red velvet whoopie pie, or it did last year. So it's good to see this back. It's a very iconic Hollywood Studios snack, but it is quite different from what it used to be. I like both versions, actually. It's very, very delicious, though, if you like carrot cake. I can highly recommend. So we got our little drinks here. Catherine couldn't get the pistachio cold brew. Oh, it's All the Easter drinks are up now. Oh, it's seasonal. At least you got a couple in there. Yeah. But you got a cold brew still, didn't you? Yeah, it's all the time. And I got a frappuccino with a double shot of coffee because it's my first proper coffee of the day. And uh, we're just in the Star Wars store. Catherine actually didn't think it was a Star Wars store. She's confused. I can't remember seeing this. It like looks new. Or something. Yeah. I must have always just walked past it. Look how cute he is. So cute. Little big flag. Love that. What is that? Like a dog ball that you clip on and then you can, you know, put oh, water it's pet in. stuff. Yeah. Ah. And then there's a ball which is like a. Oh, oh that's, that's really neat. Really cool. Oh, I love that. And then you've got a leash to match. That's actually so cool. And little doggy bag, like. Holder packs. thing. Yeah. I am in the market for a baseball cap, but I don't think I'm going to get this one as nice as it is. You should try it on. I could see you in that. I actually would wear that, but just not as my only baseball cap. That's cute. Yeah, shall I take a picture? Yeah, I think it's a backpack. It's a really spongy bit there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is. That's really cool. That's quite cute, actually, isn't it? But what if it rained, though? Oh, yeah. I feel like that would get ruined. Yeah, and the little, like, plushy guy. Maybe you could make him a rain cover. And they do have a regular lounge fly if you want a Baby Yoda backpack. I am aware that he's not called Baby Yoda, by the way. I just call him that, but... What is he called? Uh, Groju. Oh. 
Uh, I think he's got two names. I know Groju, I think, is one of them, but I call him Baby Yoda. Yeah. And they have this little cuddle pillow as well. And there's a five minute wait here for Star Tours. We were actually just talking to some lovely subscribers, so hello to you. And uh, we were saying it's not actually been as busy this week. We were really worried because someone said it was very busy. Yeah, I it was going to be Ramos, so I don't yeah. think there was an event on last week or something. But yeah. Five yeah, the wait times. I mean, this is historically normally got a lowish wait time, but five minutes in the middle of the day, that's really not bad. When we're in the restaurant, we'll take a look at the other wait times and let you know because Hollywood Studios does often have some very long lines. And there's a new building here ahead. I think it's a little kiosk. This was behind walls when I was here in December and I wasn't sure what it was going to be. And it is called Ice Cold Hydraulics. Let me just get closer though because I can see quite a large menu board. Looks like they have drinks and snacks, so they have mini churros, Mickey shaped pretzel, popcorn, cotton candy, ice creams, and then they have frozen slushies with alcohol, beer, um, frozen slushies without alcohol. So you've got Pizza Rizzo here on the left. And it's very tucked in. It is. It's very hidden away. And they have a snowman here. This would used to be a Christmas shop, I believe, like a year-round one. No, I think it's closed now. But they still have the snowman. Oh, he actually does. He's like... Why am I here? And this is Mama Melrose's. So it's right at the back. This is where you exit from the Muppet Vision 3D show. Okay, we're all checked in for our reservation and this is the kind of little lobby area to the restaurant. This is very cute. Definitely getting the Italian vibes. Yeah, definitely. It's cute, isn't it? I wonder if it's yeah. dark inside it looks quite dark. Yeah, it actually does look very dark through there. We'll see what it's like when we get in. It's so weird that I've never been here in all I my visits. Know, I didn't even know it was here. Yeah. This is so nice. We've just been seated and look how cute this is. I was not expecting this. You kind of see the kitchen on the other side. And as Catherine was saying, it's quite dark in here, but in a good way. 10 out of 10 for all here. And they have some nice little booth seats over there too. I think this is really nice. And look at these little lights up here. Yeah, this definitely like looks nicer than I was imagining. Let's take a look at the menu and see what's going on here. So for appetizers, they have Italian meatball. I wonder if that is just one meatball. Then we got a caprese salad, crispy calamari, fresh fried mozzarella, a minestrone soup, Caesar salad, and margarita flatbread. That's all on the appetizer menu. Then shrimp campanelle, sauteed shrimp and pasta in a four cheese sauce. They have a charred strip steak, a grilled bone-in pork chop, Mama's Italian pasta, which you can add chicken or shrimp to, polenta cake, mushroom, and herbed cauliflower. That's a vegan option, I believe. Then spaghetti and meatballs, sustainable fish, and oven-baked chicken parmigiana. And I'm not sure who this guy is. I'm Bobby guessing this Vinton. is an album. Bobby Vinton. It's an album cover. I don't know whether this is fictional or whether he is an actual no. Italian artist. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to look it up. So they've just brought us some bread here. And is it warm? Yeah, it's nice and hot. Oh, nice. And nice and oil and bread. I actually probably would have put butter on my bread, but I know we're, you know, when in Rome, we should be dipping our bread in oil. We'll be posh. Okay, as promised, we're looking at the wait times here. I always find this useful to show you guys actually on the phone what it's saying. Bear in mind that these are not always 100% accurate. I spoke about that in my last vlog when I was here in December. Sometimes this is like five or 10 minutes behind, sometimes even more than that. So you can go to an attraction and the time has changed, but it gives you the general idea. 115 minutes for Rise of the Resistance. We'll probably give that a miss today. 55 minutes over at Millennium Falcon. Wait, Slinky Dog only said, oh, I thought it was 30 Oh, Catherine then. thought that was Slinky Dog. Oh, I mean, I so excited that would be That would be the dream, wouldn't it? 30, I don't think I've ever seen Slinky Dog at 30 minutes in the day. I've never seen it less than 60. I mean, me neither. It's always so high. Alien Swelling Saucers is 30. Then you've got 105 minutes there for Slinky Dog Dash. 55 minutes for Toy Story Mania. Although, Toy Story Mania, I find, is one of the ones that is always less than what it says. Oh, really? Yeah, so if it, it always says... always puts me off going on it, to be honest because it's always a long wait. I actually got in line with a 50 minute wait once and it was 10. I forget which vlog that was. I think that was actually in December. It's so weird. 50 minutes for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Oh, I'll do that. So I think we'll get in line for that one because that one sometimes is mm -hmm. pretty accurate. Sometimes it's a bit less. So Unless we'll you're unlucky like me and then it ends up being 75 minutes. Yeah, Catherine did have a, a time when it was more than that. Mm -hmm. But we'll see whether that is um, still 50 when we're out of here. Then let's just go down towards Tower of Terror. So we have 50 minutes there for Tower of Terror. And it looks busy, the park there. This is a problem with Hollywood Studios. It always does look quite yeah, busy. Yeah, the, the attraction wait times, even if the park is not yeah. really busy, they are always quite high compared to other parks. Mm. But we'll definitely do Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway because Catherine loves that. 
as do I, and maybe if Toy Story Mania goes yeah, down, because yeah. that's fun when there's two of you. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Normally I'm competing try. against myself yeah. on that one. Our food has arrived, and Catherine has the fried mozzarella, which has quite a lot of tomato sauce done with it, and she also has the Caesar salad with added chicken. It doesn't come with the chicken, you have that as an add-on. And I have the minestrone soup, which looks really good actually, that smells delicious, and also the tomato flatbread. And this is an appetizer, this is like a full on like pizza. This is the size of like a blaze pizza pretty much. Maybe the tiniest bit smaller, but this is huge for an appetizer. This is definitely something for sharing. Okay, soup is always the messiest of things to be trying out. So I'm gonna to attempt to try this and eat all of it actually without making a huge mess all over my dress, but make no guarantees. Let's give it a try. That is good minestrone. Yeah. Really nice. I can't believe how big it is. Yeah, I was just saying while you were gone actually, they are huge. Especially the pizza is absolutely massive. Yeah. I'll try that in a second. Let's see how Catherine's getting on with hers. So this is a mozzarella thing. Okay, the fried mozzarella. Mmm. -hmm. Good. Mm. Looks yeah, good. Really nice, There's loads of sauce actually, which is good. Too, and then that like there. Yeah. These, yeah, these are all like really big for an appetizer. Like they're definitely. That's definitely a full meal for me. Yeah, I could have just eaten that, or yeah, no. like definitely this pizza. This is so big. Victoria wanted to get this, but it's got anchovies in the sauce. I know. I'm very like weirded out by any type of fish, so I avoided it. But I bet it's good though. Mm. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's good. Okay. It's than good. Most yeah, that's true. Yeah, we didn't have the best time. That it was fine, but it wasn't. It wasn't great. I'll probably eat the rest of this with a knife and fork. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up for this first try. Yeah, it's good. The, the flavors aren't like too strong. Sometimes you get like quite strong flavored like sauce. It's actually quite mild, but nice. And like the, the basil is really nice. That's like in Italy, though. Italy's pizza is very similar. Yeah. No, it's really good and the base is nice and crispy. Thumbs up all round. And I don't know if anyone else is like me, but I spill things down myself all the time. So I've had to do the uh, yeah. the napkin yeah. tucked in the front of my dress, which does look ridiculous. Catherine's laughing my at mom, me. My mum used to make us do that when we were kids. It is actually like a legitimate technique though, because yeah, no, especially good. with soup. I need to do it because I'm done with it all down the Soup is just terrible. I can't eat it without spilling. <laughs> we were just laughing at little snowman. We feel sad for him now when he comes. That's so long. He does. He's like, Get bring no back anymore. bring back my Christmas store. Yeah. So we're all done in Mama Mel Roses. <laughs> what was your verdict? I think it was nice. If you mm. like Italian food, I thought the appetizers were a decent value. It's yep. a nice sit down like area. It's quite romantic. It's quite mm. like dark and nice. You wouldn't even know it was there. So yeah, yeah. I would I would rate it. Well it's like yeah, I would rate it like maybe a six point five hour. Okay, and the for you, so for your food, would both of them six well, and a half out of ten? Five, that would take, yeah. Okay, I would say that my pizza was a seven, I would give it, out of ten, mm. and the soup I would probably give a 7.5, so yeah, yeah it was yeah. good, all the food was good, yeah, it was yeah, nice. Yeah, it was, it's a nice like place, if you've tried everywhere else, like, yeah. it's a nice place to sit and dine, and like yeah. we say, the starters are good value for money. So, there, you, yeah, that was good. You, but no, okay. You won't be. It does happen. So now we are going to head over to, I think, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway yeah. first, and then Toy Story Mania, and then Catherine is going to do Tower of Terror, and she's going to film it so I can add it into the vlog I'll for you vlog guys. You guys film it on the yeah, because I never do it, as you know, I'm scared. So Catherine's going <laughs> to film tried it. I'm like, come on, like, come on, I can't, come on, I can't. I can't. My my biggest fear is being dropped in a lift. So the idea of doing it for fun is just like, if you think of your worst fear, realize like if you're scared of the dentist, like, oh, let's go to the dentist yeah, for, fun. for fun. No, no. So Catherine's going to film it for you. We're just walking through at Galaxy's Edge to show you this area. It was always kind of busy back here because let's face it, it is incredible theming. Everybody wants to see this and the rides here as well, like Rise of the Resistance. I think it was 90 minutes by the way when we walked past, which is, it sounds a lot, but for that ride that really isn't that bad. And just like over here in the corner as you walk in, this is what I'm talking about with the theming and the detail. This is just like a random corner and yet it's got all of this. It kind of makes you feel like you're in the movie. Who's that? Is that Chewy? No. That's an Ewok. Oh, an so Ewok. you've got an Ewok here. So then we've got Chewy like is so funny in this little um, format. Like he's just so fluffy. And there's what's one of them again? Uh, the Porg. I oh, love yeah. Porgs. Yeah, they're awesome. I love this range. Like I, part of me wants to get like all of these in this range. Kind of reminds me of a dog type. I feel like they do feel, would love this, yeah. Yeah, they do feel Cute. like a dog toy. But I just love the Chewy. Oh. Ah. 
Like I was saying the other day, I'm in the market for a new baseball cap and I was gonna get a white one that I saw yesterday with just Mickey on the front. I actually really, really like this. We think it's cute. I do, I do like this actually. Yeah, I think it really suits you. We were just yeah. saying like some um, baseball caps, they come up a little bit high and I've got quite a big head. Yeah. So <laughs> this one is more like the right size. Yeah. I yeah, I love it. Yeah, I yeah. really like it. It'll go with like a lot of different things, yeah. I think. I think I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Okay, hat purchased. I'm happy with that. And I love here the way they kind of stay in character. So she's like, do you want a bag for your cargo? And then she's like, do you want a cargo slip? Meaning the receipts. And then when you say goodbye, they're like bright suns. So the cast members are always really like in theme here in Galaxy's Edge. And I love that because it just kind of adds to the experience. And I think if you're a big Star Wars fan, this would be like, you would lose your mind here for the first time that you're visiting. It's just, it's amazing. And I think even if you're not a huge Star I'm Wars fan. I'm not a fan, huge Star Wars fan and I yeah. still really enjoy the rides here. I still yeah. resistance. And I really enjoy the theming of the land it's amazing. I think you'd struggle to not appreciate this even if you're not a Star Wars fan at all because it's just amazing and this is kind of the main bit in the middle which is the most impressive because you have the Millennium Falcon over there which is actually the ride it is currently 50 minutes I think I can see there they do have single rider of course as well so you could do the single rider line but the outside of this area is just incredible especially at this time of night when the sun's kind of setting and they do have a photo pass photographer here this is always a really good shot because you're kind of having the Millennium Falcon in the background so this is the view you get and if you can catch this photo pass photographer when it's not busy in this area you do get really really good photos and just over here you will often see Kylo Ren and the stormtroopers and then they kind of come out and walk around the stormtroopers are actually really funny they quite often will tell you off I've been told off by them quite a few times always about something usually about filming to be honest they get very they say my camera is suspicious and even the bathrooms are themed here as well Ooh, something coming into land okay, let's see what the wait time is um 50 so that is what it said and i love the queuing area for this even the outside part i don't ever see this outside part being used at the times of year that i travel but sometimes i guess in the summer or really busy times it might get that busy but usually you come right into this bit all the ceilings of board games and stuff it's really as if andy has like built everything out of toys it's just so great mr potato heads behind a curtain having a nap He's gone by base. Yeah. <laughs> We're here at the front now and it was 21 minutes. 21 minutes? I'm gonna have to remember this last time because it always puts us off. Yeah. No, every time I've done it when it says 50, it's been less than 30. So if you see a 50 minute at Toy Story Mania, I obviously can't promise you it'll be less, but every single time for me, it's been 30 or less. So it's one of those rides, it always just seems to have a higher time listed than it actually is. Rest in peace, arms. Okay, how do we do? Oh, 185. That's actually, I think that's a bit more than I normally get. Yay! Oh, what a nice arm. Dang. What the heck? I need to practice. That's so good. I love this attraction so much. How's your arm? My arms are popping out. <laughs> it does require some strength that ride it's so good though it's honestly i think i think it's probably my favorite thing in hollywood studios actually i love it so much catherine was just saying she's only noticed today these giant footprints this is the thing i was saying about disney though every time you come even if you're here a lot you notice new details every trip i always do like whether i'm in haunted mansion or like rides that i do all the time you always notice new stuff yeah roundup rodeo barbecue we were just talking about that how when it first opened they would bring a giant pen for you to sign your check and people kept stealing them so now you don't get the giant spoil pen for everyone. exactly why do people have to spoil it for everyone else i wanted to sign with a giant pen that's a real shame i don't know why people do that Oh, that popcorn smell is so Disney. Oh, this is one of the most, it's a very yeah, distinctive Disney, popcorn smell yeah. too. And we're gonna head over to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which is such a mouthful to say, have to say it slow, otherwise it comes out wrong. What happens when you try and say it fast, I bet you'll be able to do it. Mickey's Runaway Railway. Oh, you missed out Minnie. Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it comes out if I'm like, Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> I can't talk normally at the best of time. I was there in Victoria, I can't. She was editing a Target vlog the other day. I was like, oh my gosh. Even though I vlog myself, I can't stand my voice because Victoria's got a nice southern like English accent. And I'm like, oh, look at this. Look at this sandwich. I'm like, do I have to sound like that? Because I'm not 
<laughs> I think you got a nice accent. I'm all Victorian. <laughs> like I get overexcited about everything. I love it. Oh dear. Oh, this lighting is so beautiful. Oh, I love the effect. Look at the clouds as well. It's yeah. Nice. Is it? Oh, I think we. Oh no. I think oh. it's gone tech. We went into Hawthorne. Maybe. Oh dang. Well, that's a shame, but we'll go and do something else. Tara of Tara for you and some merchandise for us. Well, you guys will get to see both because Catherine's going to film it for you. Oh my gosh, this sky tonight. This is so beautiful. I love a Florida sunset. Mm. Also smells like barbecue around me. It does. I wonder if it's like drifting over from uh, Roundup Rodeo. Mm -hmm. Luckily, this camera does actually pick it up pretty okay. good. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you guys Still, can see. It's better in real life. It is. Like the, when we're seeing it, we're just like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. This looks so beautiful as well. Like everything is just hitting different in Hollywood Sunset. Studios tonight. Sunset is the best it looks beautiful. And all of this looks great as well. I am just living for this tonight in Hollywood Studios. <laughs> Everything looks so good. <laughs> yes, and the music as well in this park, in this area in particular. Yeah, I love the vintage feel. I love that this type of music at all. Yeah, it's like a very vintagey vibe. Catherine is now going to take you guys onto Tower of Terror. Meanwhile, I am going to take you around the stores. So you'll get to see the merchandise first and then Tower of Terror probably, unless I put it the other way around. In which case, you'll see Tower of Terror first. We'll see what I decide when I'm editing. All right, I'm heading into Tower of Terror and it does say that it's a 65 minute wait, which is quite a long time. I'm thinking because Mickey's Runaway Railway is uh, down, probably everyone's coming Oh, I thought the queue was all the way back here. I was thinking that I'm going to abort that, but it's not. Um, because Mickey and Minnie's run away railway sound. I'm thinking that might be why, so let's see how long it takes. Oh, here we go. I love this ride. Oh, look at that. Oh, the mist is coming out, look. Whoa, spooky. Whoa, I actually can't remember it being this steamy and spooky, actually. This looks kind of cool. Ooh. All right, it was 20 minutes to get to this point, so I don't think it's going to be quite 65 minutes. I think it's going to be more like 40 to 45. Ah, oh, I love this lobby. So cool in here. Check it out. Ooh, going in already. Okay, it took exactly 30 minutes to get to the front, so not 65. I'm all right here. When stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator. It was only a 30 minute wait, so that was great. Look how cool it is. Okay, great. So cool in here. Look, we've got tumblers and stuff. Hello. Oh, we've got Oogie Boogie stuff as well. Not seen that before. Okay, let's take a look at what merchandise they have. They have this um, fluffy jacket. Catherine has this in like a pale mint green kind of colour. They have it in this like wine red. This is really nice. And they also have it in black. I've nearly purchased this before because I really do like this. I'm not sure how much wear I would get out of it at home because I don't normally wear kind of big jackets. I don't feel the cold that badly. It's $74.99. I really like it though. And they have this best vacation ever t-shirt. I like that it has a v-neck because not very many t-shirts have a v-neck. And that's $34.99. They have this red sweater. I feel like this is very Christmassy. In fact, I think they did sell this at Christmas. Maybe they've just decided to make it like a permanent item. Or well, they definitely had something very, very similar to that. That is $99.99. That is one pricey sweatshirt. I think this 
looks like a rain jacket, but actually it doesn't totally feel waterproof. I'm not 100% sure whether that's waterproof or not. It's very nice though, and that's $59.99. And we're into the next store now. Look at this little t-shirt. That's really nice with the partner statue. And that's $34.99. I love this sweatshirt. It feels very like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway to me. I don't know why I'm just getting that vibe. How much is it? $59.99. I really like that. I don't think I've seen these ears before. These are light up ones, so they're like a really thin perspex plaque and they actually light up and you can recharge them with a little USB cable. The only thing is I don't like how the bow sits on that very much, but I do think these are really cool. I am gonna head over to Starbucks and get the strawberry acai refresher with lemonade because I'm really thirsty. If you've never had this, please do try it. It is so good and in the Florida heat, it's just the most refreshing drink. Absolutely love this, but now, Let's head into the Five and Dime. And straight up when we walk in, there is a whole range dedicated to Disney food. This is called Disney Eats. Look at this hoodie. I absolutely love that. And they also have a little kids version. This one doesn't have the zip halfway down, but that's so cute because you can have matching ones. They also have this spirit jersey, which is really nice too. This range is actually amazing. Look at the front. I love that. They also have a burger earpod case. This is huge. I don't know if this is for regular airpods. It just looks so huge. These crocs that have the little things kind of stuck in. They've got the drink there and the popcorn that has the arms. Those are $69.99. And look at this popcorn purse. This merchandise range is unbelievable. This is $34.99. I could buy all of this, honestly. This t-shirt is very cute too. And they do have a pizza spirit jersey. This matches the bag that we saw the other day. So if you're a huge pizza fan, I think you would love this. This is the kind of mug that I really want, either the Tervis or Corksicle type mugs, like the thermal ones, but I'm not gonna get a Tower of Terror one because I don't even ride that attraction. They don't have any others though. Everything else is like water kind of sippers. Okay, I'm all done in there. I don't think I've ever been more excited for an item of clothing than that pink hoodie I have just purchased. I am gonna wear that so much. I'm absolutely in love with it. Okay, we're heading out now, just going to the rideshare pickup, and Catherine's back from her little um, excursion at the Hollywood Hotel. Yeah, it was very, very fun. And you worked half an hour, which was good. Yeah, that's really good. You, you guys will have seen the footage because I'll have put that in. I was obviously losing my mind in the shops. Just getting back to the room, and we're seeing some fireworks over there. Literally, there were like massive ones of Victoria turns on the camera. It's like, it's kind of yeah, I said I bet I'll turn the camera on and they'll disappear and that's exactly what happened, but they have, they have come back. I'm assuming that this would be Magic Kingdom, yeah. probably at this time. Oh, that's oh pretty. But yeah, you can actually see the fireworks pretty good from here. We are back now in the room just chilling out Catherine's doing some work normally in a morning and when we get back from the parks one of us is doing some work because normally we would both be but we've only got one laptop mm -hmm. and I've actually edited my target vlog now and that will have gone up by the time you're watching this so now Catherine is editing a vlog um but it's actually quite nice when we're both on a trip because if because we both do YouTube like it's completely normal that someone is like editing at any given moment of the yeah, day <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just completely normal and we had such a nice afternoon at um, Hollywood Studios today it was really good we only did the afternoon and evening and I loved the meal that we had at Mama Melrose's that was actually nicer than I expected and the surroundings like of that restaurant I really enjoyed it was kind of a bummer about Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway because I would have loved to have done that but never mind I've done it a bunch of times before and things like that do happen I don't know whether it came back up I didn't check actually it might have done may not have I don't know um, but I am so so happy about this I am completely obsessed with this new hoodie I've just been looking at it I'm just trying to show as much of it as possible there it is. Look at this. I mean, this is not how you wear it, quite clearly. <laughs> it's just a bit... Just walk around like this. Um, but this is amazing. I love it. It's not very often I see something and I'm literally like oh my goodness i need this like yeah i try to only buy stuff now that's why i don't do haul videos anymore like i don't buy a whole lot of stuff because i do a lot of trips and keeping costs down i don't like to buy loads of merch so now i only buy something if i'm like yes that is what i've been looking for or something like this where i'm just i don't know bouncing off the walls with excitement because i'm so obsessed with it so i'm really happy about this and i do get my annual pass discount as well so i think this was 50 dollars 
with the like tax and with my annual pass discount. And tomorrow we're going to be going back to Epcot because we have our France day. We're going to start out at the Riviera Resorts and have a nice little breakfast there, some coffee. I'm going to be eating at Chefs de France, which is really good. I loved it last time I ate there. And I just love Epcot. So that's going to be a really nice day tomorrow. I just want to say hello to everybody who came up to say hello in Hollywood Studios today. I met so many of you today. I do tend to find that there'll be certain days when everybody is just in the park that I'm in and it was so lovely chatting to you all so thank you for saying hello and if you do ever see me in the parks please do come over and say hi I love having a chat finding out about your vacation and um, yeah I really love talking to you all so thank you for saying hello and thank you guys who are watching for always taking the time out of your day to watch these vlogs commenting subscribing I really do appreciate you all so much so a huge thank you for helping me to be able to carry on creating this content and bringing you these vlogs because I do love it. I love coming to the parks and sharing what's new, just sharing my experiences. I have been coming out to Orlando for 22 years now. It's something that I just absolutely love. I love the parks, I love Orlando, I love traveling here and to be able to continue to do that and sharing it with you is something that I'm just very, very grateful and happy to be able to do. So thank you to you guys who make all of that possible. But I'm gonna head to bed now. We had a bit of a broken night sleep last night we have had some issues with noise at this hotel there's been a lot of like crazy construction at like 2 30 in the morning and we have had some noise from like people being a little bit loud at night so i will say that with this hotel i do love it um it's actually been very good value for money in terms of the facilities and the hotel but we have had a bit of noise so we're going to try and get some sleep i'm going to put headphones in tonight i think to try and make sure i stay asleep so i hope you guys are well i hope you're all having a great day and i'll see you next saturday for another epcot vlog bye it's reminding me of uh, being in primary school playing the recorder <laughs> Such a it really Does is. anyone ever make it sound good? I don't know, and I don't know like when you're ever going to use it again. <laughs> Apart from in school assembly, when does anybody go on to like require playing a recorder? Yeah, it's so like random. Going to be in the Philharmonic Orchestra. <laughs>